Speaker, and I want to start by recognising the amount of time that you have spent uh, patiently and diligently in the chair, doing your best to defend the integrity of this place. Yeah, yeah, However, yeah, yeah. it would appear that the government could not care less about the integrity mm -hmm. of this place. Now, 97 per cent of all constituents contacting me about Brexit were against it. Scotland as a whole voted to remain. That was ignored. Yeah. The Scottish Government then produced a sensible plan with a reasonable compromise. That was ignored. This Government have been held in contempt of Parliament mm -hmm. for deliberately trying to conceal facts, and yet there is not a hint of embarrassment from that side of the House. There is not a hint of regret or even an awareness of the damage that they are doing. For the Government to, no, I won't, uh, for the government to set a date for this meaningful vote, and say that they won't pull the vote, to then pull the vote and use the archaic processes of this place to prevent a vote on whether to have the original <laughs> vote pulled shows just how much of a fankle this government has gotten yep. itself in. Yeah, yeah. And to top it all off, the day finished with a woman with a sword chasing after a guy stealing a bus <laughs> I mean, is it any wonder that the rest of the world are looking at this Insane. and laughing? Mm -hmm. They are looking at this yeah, and wondering yeah. what could be going on. And is it any wonder, I'll say it again, that Scotland has the option to get better than this? Yep. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, have yeah. another option on the table. But my friend uh, and former colleague, Miriam Brett, actually summed this up perfectly. Well, she said, this entire farce is emblematic of Britain's broken democracy. Yeah, yeah. A referendum held to appease an Etonian boys club yeah. and it and was won on the back of financial corruption of elites. Yep. Mm -hmm. And when half of the countries involved vote remain, it makes sod all difference. Mm -hmm. yep. So I join the right honourable member for Los Roskai and Loch Arbor, otherwise known as Ian, <laughs> uh, in calling on the leader of the opposition to bring forward a no confidence motion at the earliest opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if we are genuinely to look at ourselves and to say that this display that we have seen <laughs> for the last two years, never mind the last week, here, here. is the best that we can do, mm -hmm. then by God I can't blame Scotland for taking the opportunity of independence. Yeah. Yeah. Chris Phelps.